Hi, welcome to Feel Fit TV. Feel Fit TV is your source for nutritional information, tips, and advice to help you live your best, look your best, and feel fit. My name is David Cummings. I'll be your host. This is episode number 18, and today I wanted to show you a clip that aired recently on 2020 about a, a young guy that lost over 400 uh, pounds. So this was a pretty inspirational clip for me, and it will be for anyone who has uh, some fitness goals, especially fitness goals of weight loss. But as you'll be able to see by this video, um, anyone can do it, and it just takes a lifestyle uh, commitment and change to uh, accomplish what you set out to do. Um, thank those of you who are training with me um, individually on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Um, as many of you know, I have a loyalty uh, program uh, where after you've uh, purchased so much training and it's continuous, you reach a certain level. And um, that, uh, that level enables you to uh, train at cheaper rates and it locks in that rate for as long as your training is continuous. And I'd like to thank um, those people who have reached that level, and that would be Barbara, Tom, Brendan, Dale and Judy, Gail and Wes, Cindy, Catherine, and Steve. Thank you guys for your uh, continued support, uh, support uh, of uh, your own um, commitment to fitness and also to my business. And um, these people have kept their training continuous, and uh, we want to congratulate those people. So, uh... Seven years ago, David Smith looked like this. He'd spent nearly a decade on the couch in his parents' house, eating pizza, raiding the fridge, drinking soda. He weighed 630 pounds. At a point in my life, you know, I felt like the elephant, man. Then, David Smith changed into this, enjoying life and the inspiration he gives others. Well done. This remarkable transformation didn't happen overnight. It took more than two years of total dedication and no gastric bypass surgery. Yet this new body was not David Smith's greatest gift. It was this, friendship. It's something David Smith never dreamed he'd know. All during the years, he was morbidly obese, imprisoned by shame and social anxiety. It, it got so bad to a point that I didn't leave the house. and I didn't even feel comfortable in my own backyard until it was dark out. Because you were so ashamed of how you looked? So ashamed and um, just, you know, I, I didn't want to be mocked. He'd had enough. So in June of 2003, he sent an email to Chris Powell fitness correspondent for a local news broadcast in Phoenix, Arizona. Chris paid David a visit. It was definitely shocking because I didn't know what 600 pounds looked like. When he opened the door, it was from door frame to door frame. And we were both probably thinking, you know, what are we getting ourselves into right here, you know? Because, you know, I, I thought, you know, there'd be no way I'd have anything in common with this guy. He couldn't really look me in the eye. He was just so broken, he really didn't know what to say or what to do. What did you want him to know at that first meeting about your commitment towards changing your life? Oh, that, you know, if he's going to put forth the, the, the time and energy, I'm going to do the same. And, you know, I want this more than anything. So I said, well, if you don't give up on me, I won't give up on you. Chris and David made a deal. Then they had to go to a truck scale just to weigh David. I'm thinking, wow, what did I get myself into? To begin, Chris created a food plan for David. Six smaller meals to replace David's end of the day mega meal. Carbo balance to rev up his metabolism with cheat days thrown in. He dropped 40 pounds in the first month. Then after just four months of doing simple exercises in the gym, David lost 100 pounds. Chris was pleased, but David? Well, he kept telling me, he's like, when I look in the mirror, I still feel like the same person. He's like, I still see 630 pounds. Then one day after a session, David handed Chris a letter he'd written. As Chris read, it began with a revelation that David had never shared with anyone else. I was sexually abused by a, a, my first friend that I ever made. There was like three or four times, you know, that, you know, did some, he did some things to me. How did that abuse make you feel about yourself? It made me shy away from people, not trust people at all. 
and you know, of course, I, I, I turned to food because, you know, I, it made me happy. Gaining more weight all the time and lacking social skills, David found school to be a nightmare. I had like sticks and stones and dog feces and, you know, thrown at me and spit on. Kids can be so cruel. Yeah, I, I, I've got a broken arm and black eyes. The emotional and physical abuse took a toll. He had dropped out of high school at 17 and headed for his parents' house. Over the next decade, he would emerge only rarely. Trapped in a joyless, friendless existence, David began to plan his suicide. I felt like, you know, I, I deserve as much pain as possible if, if I was to kill myself, to burn myself literally in the desert. You know, I just decided maybe, you know, me dousing with gasoline and, you know, you know, maybe people could hear my scream and hear all the despair that consumed me for all these years. You can't help but cry when you read that story. And, and I realized how valuable I was to him, not just as a trainer, but just as the first person in his life who actually believed in him. Then David stopped losing weight. Chris suspected that David wasn't sticking to his meal and exercise program and challenged him. And I said, I've put lots of time and energy and hours into this. I've given you 100% of me. Is this worth it? And and he actually like came at me and grabbed me. He's like, you can't leave. You can't leave. Like I need you. You have to do this. And uh, that's when I was just like, bro, I'm just joking, man. <laughs> I, I didn't mean it, you know. You know, I, I I never want to see disappointment on his face again. So he went back to following the program, and the results showed it. As the pounds continued to fall away, Chris knew David needed him now more than ever. All his loose skin gave him the appearance of a deflated balloon. So he embarked on a series of surgeries to eliminate the excess skin, leaving him with 18 feet of scars. Chris was there for all the surgeries. It's so worth it, trust me. You know, <laughs> I could actually start seeing my muscles coming in. <laughs> At last, he had locked in on his target weight, 229 pounds. David Smith, had lost 401 pounds in 26 months. At first it was like, okay, well let's aim for 230, that's 400 pounds. 400 pounds is just too, it's too even. But if you say 401 pounds, every pound counts. The pizza delivery place near David's house? It went out of business. Yeah, actually two of them did. Yeah, so they were hurting, I guess. You know, close them down. <laughs> He also enhanced his appearance with LASIK surgery on his eyes and some dental work to fix the teeth destroyed by too much soda. David is living his vision, paying it forward and helping other people transform as well. You know, if somebody was in my shoes a few years ago, I would just tell them not to give up, not to lose sight of what they really want in life. We'll get it. I got it. Eventually. <laughs> So what'd you think of that uh, episode? What'd you think of that story? Pretty amazing, right? And uh, again, anyone can do it. You can do it, whether you're struggling with the last five or 10 pounds, or whether you have a milestone journey to go like this, um, this young man. You can do it, it is possible. So I encourage you, work hard, uh, remain committed and faithful to your um, exercise plan and your goals, and stay focused. And I'll help you do that. Um, again, congratulations to those of you who have reached um, Tier 4 in my um, loyalty training program and have kept your training continuous. And um, I'm happy to see all of your results. Um, coming up on our next episode, I will be showing you an episode on shoes. And so that might be of interest to you. School is coming up. Uh, fall is uh, on the way here. So um, look uh, for a promotion that I have that will be coming up as well as some new um, group activities and events coming up for Feel Fit that you could be part of and burn some calories. So uh, until I see you again, um, stay tuned and um, feel fit. Take care.